Hey, welcome everyone to a new video about algebra. Today we're going to keep talking about equations with addition and subtraction, this time with a little bit more minuses. Uh, I'm here in the studio with Natalie and Julia. Hi, how are you? Good. Uh, Julia helped us also with um, with that intro music. That was awesome. Okay, so let's review uh, what we did last time. So uh, last time in Algebra for Kids, we started talking about uh, how to solve equations. And we mentioned rule number one, a uh, very important fact that you can add or subtract the same number from both sides of an equation to get another equation that is also true. So here's a problem that we're going to work on today. Uh, Natalie, can you read the problem? Julia had nine eggs, but she lost a bunch and now she has five left. How many eggs did she lose? Okay, so that's the problem. Um, so what do you think, Natalie, is an equation that reflects this problem? Nine minus X equals five. Nine minus X equals five, whoops. No, not that, uh, not the highlighter, uh, this pen. Let's do nine minus X equals five. Yeah, so that's, that's an equation that reflects this problem and everything in an equation reflects something in the problem. Uh, Natalie, what, what's this nine about? The total amount of eggs. That is the total amount of eggs there was. And then the problem says that how many are left? At the end? Four. Uh, no, it yeah, says yeah, that five, now five, she has five, five left, right? Five. So these are the eggs that are uh, left. Okay. And then what's X? X equals four. X equals four, and X is uh, the mystery number, the unknown, uh, which is how many eggs did she lose? So these are the lost eggs in... That is exactly what we want to find. And you already said that that X is, how much is that X in this problem? How much is X? Four. Four, okay. So uh, the key here is how do we get these solutions to our equations? So let me, um, let me also give you a picture of what's going on here. That's the problem. There were nine X, uh, she lost a bunch and then she kept uh, five were uh, were left. So um, here is what's happening in this equation is that we start with an equation, the equation Natalie said, uh, nine minus x equals five. And to get to the solution, Natalie, what we're going to do is uh, modify this equation by adding or subtracting something to get to uh, a solution. So what we want is uh, an equation that just has x equals something and hopefully that x is going to be 4. So what we can do is add or subtract uh, subtract the same number to both sides. So what we're going to do here is uh, for now I want the x to be on the other side. So I'm going to add x to both sides. Okay. So uh, I'm going to add x on this side of the equation and I'm going to add X on this side of the equation. And now, uh, Natalie, uh, how much is X minus X? X minus X is zero. That is yeah, zero. zero because, well, I don't know what X is yet, but I know that if I have X, X, and I subtract X, X, then I'm gonna have zero X. So this is zero. So uh, this equation then reads, uh, 9 plus 0, which is 9, equals 5 plus x. Okay, so you see that 9 minus x equals 5, and 9 equals 5 plus x is the same equation. Uh, 5 plus x, by the way, is the x that were in total 5 plus x lost. So that also makes sense that maybe you started thinking from this equation instead, and that it also makes sense. Now, I want to leave x alone on the right-hand side, so... What could I subtract on both sides to leave the x alone? What could I do to uh, leave uh, x alone in this equation? I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides because there's a 5 here next to the x. So if I subtract 5, I'm going to get 
uh, I'm going to subtract 5 on the left hand side and I'm going to subtract 5 on the right hand side and Natalie, how much is 5 minus 5? Five? 5 minus 5 equals 0. That's also 0. That's why I subtracted 5, so I can get rid of that. So now, uh, here you go. Uh, you see, now we have on the right-hand side of the equation, I have 5 minus 5, so that's still 0. So on the right-hand side, now I just have x. And on the left-hand side, I have 9 minus 5. That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted an equation that has x alone in one side. Natalie, how much is 9 minus 5? 9 minus 5 equals 4. And 9 minus 5 equals 4. So if I simplify that equation, that is exactly telling me that 4 equals x. And that's what Natalie said at the beginning, that that was the solution to my equation. Okay, so that's how you solve an equation using this rule. Rule number one, you can go uh, subtract and adding numbers until you get to an equation that just tells you what x is. Okay, so uh, why don't we try another problem, Natalie, uh, just like that. Can you, can you read this problem that we have now here? Natalie had seven cookies. She ate a few of them, and now two are left. How many cookies did Natalie eat? <laughs> and you, you wrote here a lot. Did you write a lot? Yeah. What, what are your favorite type of cookies? Chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate, chocolate chip cookies? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, Natalie, what, what's an equation that reflects this problem now? What kind of equation could we write? Natalie has seven cookies. She ate a few, and now two are left. Let, what, what is the mystery number? The mystery number is how many cookies did I eat? Yes, so that is the mystery <laughs> number. So uh, let's start like before. How many number was? What's the total number of cookies? Seven. There are seven. Uh, actually, I'm gonna write them here. Here is uh, the total number of cookies. Seven. Uh, how many did you eat? We don't know. But how many are left at the end? Five. Two. There are two left. So let's say that these are the ones that are left. Okay. So there is going to be at the end, there is going to be two. And then the mystery number is how many you ate, which would be the rest, right? Uh, so these ones, so minus x equals 2. Uh, so we can see from the picture what's x going to be. x is going to be 5. And x is going to be 5. So instead of just eyeballing, uh, just looking at the picture, we're going to do like before. So I start from 7 minus x equals 2. And then what can I add? What should I add to both sides of the equation to start with? If I want to move the x to the other side, uh, Natalie is uh, speaking very softly. Is it two? Uh, why don't we start with two? Let's, let's add and subtract. So uh, why don't we subtract two in this time and see what happens. So if I uh, subtract two from both sides, then I'm going to get uh, two, uh, seven minus two, equals or uh, minus x equals 2 minus 2 and uh, that's going to be 0 on this side okay and how much is 7 minus 2 Natalie? 5 and that is 5 okay so this new equation is then uh, 5 minus x equals 0 and then uh, now Natalie I want x to go to the other side, so now what should I do with x? Should we add or subtract x? Probably we should, what do you think, uh, add x to both sides, so I get an x on the other side, okay? So now this time I'm going to add x to both sides, so I get five minus x plus x equals zero plus x, which is x, okay? And on this side, x minus x is zero, so what I get now is that 5 equals x, which is the solution that Natalie came up with before. Okay, 
So that's how you would go um, about to solve an equation of this form that has uh, minus, uh, just uh, add or subtract numbers on both sides to get to a solution. We're going to do that in general a little bit more quickly. We're going to be able to just, if something is uh, uh, subtracting on one side, you can bring it to the other side, uh, adding, and we'll, we'll go over that a little bit more uh, at a later time. Okay, so uh, that's all for this video. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, have a look at all the videos we've made. And also, if you have any comments or you have any suggestions for videos we can do, or if you have any problems you would like us to uh, work out on the screen, uh, you can shoot us an email to algebra for kids videos at gmail.com. Okay, bye-bye. Uh, bye. Bye. bye.